as you mentioned, all of this, as Liverpool are doing what they're doing, all of this is cutting into the time where we should be working on developing the club. And the madness is, yeah, the Sheikh said yeah. that he's going to develop the club. He's going to put money into the club instead. Yeah, we're going back and forth with this bum Radcliffe that ain't got no money. Like I say, he's a broke billionaire. This is the same brother that said, yeah, that he had a Chelsea season ticket because it was close to him, bro. Manchester's one hour away on the plane. Like, you're a billionaire. Like, I... Make it make sense, bro. bro. How expensive is it a plane ticket to Manchester if you ain't got a, got a private jet of your own, bro? <laughs> Man, I get a bruv, I'll get a, a plane ticket to Manchester for like a hundred pound. Yeah, easy. You're a billionaire. You're a billionaire. What are you talking man. about, big man? Man, man's not really like I'm saying to you, bro. I, I think I think ultimately the Glazers have got what they want in the end. You know what I mean? They've got what makes sense to them. You know what I mean? Instead of taking the money and actually taking a world record fee. They, they they still they're still valuing what my United could become, but you ain't ever built it like that. So why why are you kind of like you know what I mean? How, how are you taking glory for 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 all of what Sir Ferguson did and whatnot? Like we mm. we built that ourselves. You ain't you not really elevated this football club. So for you to then say oh this is worth this amount and then you're, you're being so greedy and that for me is taking a piss. Yes, mm. you could call it business people, but at the end of the day, yeah, you've got a world record fee. This ain't no mess around what Chelsea were doing last season. This is a world mm. record fee of nearly six billion dollars. Like, what more do you want? Like, bro, like there's there's being reasonable and they're just taking a piss. And that's what they're doing. They're just taking a piss. It's true, though, man. Right. They're just taking a piss. 100 percent And that's it. Um, big up Jerome for the super chat. He said United never has good luck. Ratcliffe's gonna win and we're staying in the mud, bro. Listen, bro. if we if we go from Glazers out to Glazers and Ratcliffe, blood. Listen, do you know how mad that is? Do you know how muddy that is, Said? That's muddy, man. That's, That's muddy. muddy, bro. Like, you know I, I don't mean? think we can escape that as a fan base. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. This is how, this is why it's so, so big, this situation, you know, like, you know, to get Qataris, you've got a bit of hope in it. Even if you don't think like, because a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, next season we'll be able to compete. Like, you've got faith that you can bring in quality players. Forget, regardless of the manager, regardless of what's going on. You know you can bring in quality players. You know you've got the infrastructure to kind of compete. You've got everything. You know what I mean? The training grounds on point. The, the youth system. Everything is is on the way up. You can you can believe. But when you've got my man whose track record isn't the greatest at Nice, and you know he hasn't got the money, like that's where for me the the kind of um, the, 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 the the kind of pessimistic feeling is. It's, it's that's mm. all it is. Like we know we could have been better with the with the Qataris. We know we could have been better by a tenfold. We know mm. there would have been so much hope, but now you've got the Glazers and Jim Ratcliffe still at the football club. It's, yeah. it's I, I just find it jarring, man. You know what I mean? Like It's like we can never win, man. It's like we're yeah, forever fact. in the mud at the minute. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like it's just never ending, man. The pain's never ending. You know what I mean? Like Chelsea, every single time, this is why for me, I always feel like with Chelsea fans, they're always spoiled is that. Whenever they have a problem, they they literally fix it in a, in, in 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 so in quickly. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, man yeah, uh, Roman Abramovich left. They got quickly a new owner. Um, they have a sacking. A new new manager comes in. Like they right. never really feel pain. Whereas my United, it's just constant yeah, pain. Yeah, it's man. true. It's true. It's true. But also, you've got to remember that when Roman left, yeah, he he put a certain he put certain things in place to make sure that they would be in good hands, bro. Like our our owners yeah. don't give a shit about that. Well, they left us a debt. You know what I mean, at least Roman well, actually wiped it. out the debt, didn't he? You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. So... He wiped out the debt, and also he made it so that um, the new owner that came in here yeah, had to invest. They had to pledge to invest a certain amount of money when they came in, bro. So he had the best interest of the club at heart. Our owners have yeah. never had that. So, like yeah. owners, um, Roman's probably one of the best owners in the history of football, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean yeah. exactly for what he did on the football pitch, hundred percent, man. I think yeah. he, he left him in a, in a in a good position. He was always ruthless. They they they, they majority of the time they were winning. You know what I mean. Whereas this football club, it's, it's left us in a serious amount. That even to this summer, because of FFP and because of what what's going on, we have to sell a lot of players before we can buy players. And mm. and I, I just read this morning that that the budget is around 100, 150 million. That that ain't gonna that ain't gonna scratch anything. Seventy million is going on. <laughs> Yeah, 150 million ain't doing diddly, bro. Like, what in this market, nothing, bro. nah, bro. We need mad? 500 bands, blood. That's what we need, bro. We need a lot of money, man. You gotta get players out and that, recuperate that money, but also buy quality, man. Not as long as it's Mason Mount bullshit, man. 
Send it 70 million. See these Chelsea fans, man, they're pissing me off, man, about give us our money, you know. I'm just serious, you know. They're pissing me off, you know, this Chelsea fan, give me my money, you know. Because they no, have it's to a horrible play. place to be in. It's a horrible place to be in, bro. Fucking hell. We need we need we need at least five to seven starters in this team. I'll be serious, man. Yeah, you yeah, you're up. right. If we're gonna if we're gonna win the league, we do need that. You're right. You need you need five bro. When I looked at it on, on Sunday, yeah, when you look at the actual squad, yeah, you know what I mean? The fact that Man City up there kind of they didn't even play well, yeah. We couldn't lay a glove on them. For me, that just shows you like what you need to know in it. Like midfield wise, we were very, very passive. Up front, dead, like you know, what I mean, absolutely nothing up front. The bench was absolutely horrid. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, it's yep. what you need in this team is a lot, man. Even if we had Anthony and Martial on the bench, it still isn't enough for what no, they would it would have given a different look, but it wouldn't have made any difference. Exactly. You know what I'm saying to you? So I feel like this this squad needs a lot, man. It needs it needs it needs it needs surgery, man. Ten Hag, I mean uh, Ralph Franklin said it, man. Open heart surgery. He wouldn't have said them kind of words, you know. Like you got to deep it. Like when you actually deep it, why did he choose open heart surgery? Like he could have used, you know, we need a we need yeah. a new. You know. Yeah, yeah, bro. He knew exactly how bad it was. Like, and he yeah he didn't understate it, and that's why a man will always respect what Ralph done at this club because he exposed. The players that needed to be exposed, he did it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the reason why he was playing a langa. That's the reason why he was doing these things. He was exposing what was going Spoke on. He it. was letting man know that these man ain't it. They're not yep. it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I respected that about him. I respected Facts. it about him, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Facts. So we have to, um, like, when it's all said and done, yeah, like he was a pivotal, pivotal moment in a lot of fans actually waking up now. At the time, they didn't see it. But now he's gone. Everything that he said, people are now saying, oh, yeah, we need seven, eight, nine players. That's what yeah. he said. But at the start, they were like, oh, but you couldn't improve the players that we had. No, it wasn't mm. about that. It's because they weren't good enough. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> they weren't good enough and they had no, and they had absolutely no willingness uh, willingness to learn. And none. Yes. None. None at all. If you couldn't do simple gag and pressing, yeah, and you couldn't do that over a sustained period of time, like what, mm. what hope have you got? Like these are simple... You know what I mean? It's, it's a simple philosophy of a manager to press high up the pitch. It's not as if you have to be competent on the ball. He just wants you to win the ball high up the pitch. Yeah, you, you know don't have I mean? to be a good footballer to press high up the pitch, man. It's just um, it's discipline and, and fitness. That's all it is. That's it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that, that's when he knew. He was like, yo, listen, it can happen in one or two seasons, but you've got to do it properly. You've got to do it properly, he said. You've got to make sure that when you... Um, rip out this squad. You're thinking quality, quality that that counts. And I just look at this team right now. It don't have quality, man. It has it has a bit of flair. It has a bit of you know, you know what I mean. It might give you a lot of something here and there, but in terms of like guaranteed quality, you know, Gundogan guaranteed quality, Bernardo yeah. guaranteed quality, Grealish guaranteed quality. Like I can just name you every single part of their team. It's guaranteed quality. In our team, it's 50-50 one week. It's one week. It's <laughs> yeah. good. It's not consistent, man. And to, to build a team, I can't be having players that only turn up for a quarter of the season or a third of the season. You can't. You've got yep. to be... You And then, obviously, the people that are on the bench, if they're not doing anything... So, it, it adds to the adds to the issues, man. Like, you haven't got enough players who are just consistent in our team, man. And that's just the bottom line. Only Casemiro and I would say Varane and uh, Lissandra Martinez, you would say they're always consistent in, in the United team. This is what I said. This is what I said. Those are the only three players, yeah, that I'll fucking, I'll defend to the, the fucking, to the graves. Everyone else can, can get some sort of smoke from me because yeah. they don't deserve, they don't deserve protection because they haven't shown enough. You know what I no. mean? They haven't shown enough and, and, and this is exactly it. Remember when Ralph was saying he wanted to do double yeah. sessions? The man was saying they don't want to train after when it gets dark and, bruv, what? Do you know what I mean? Bro, Van Gaal had the man sleeping at Carrington, bro. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Bro, he wasn't <laughs> playing. He had man he sleeping. He was playing, man. Like, that's he what we need to bring smoke. back. That's what we need to bring back. Like, that mentality. Man are sleeping bro. at work, G. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't know. I think I think Ten Hag's got that kind of that side to him because obviously he did it against Brentford, didn't it? But even yeah. when it's at its highest point, I think you still got to have that mentality of you know what you might have got to work in it. I think I think sometimes, you know, what I mean these these players they can they can bluff in it, man. They're good at bluffing, you know, because they've been mm. under so many managers. You got to remember, yeah, like when when a new manager comes in, it's almost as if they like you know first day at work and that. 
let's be let's be ready for this new boss but when mm. they know like yo like i've settled in now i've made a little impression that's all i need to do now that's what these players do you know when they make a little impression it's like yeah feet up mm. i've done my job now but under guardiola you can see like them man don't play every single game like there's a period mm. where you'll see maris in the team for like four or five games then he's out of the team and he's thinking yeah. hold on a minute how's that happened Bernardo Silva showing him up. That level of competition where you don't know who's playing, that's what you need, man. That's what you need. Until you have that culture, until you have that, that mentality in the squad, ain't nothing going to work, man. Everything's just a given for this team, man. You know what I mean? Everything's 100%. a given, man. 100%. Shout out AJ for the super chat, bro. Like, um, the Sheik's not going to do what um, Ratcliffe... Um, does for the simple fact that he wants to own the club. Like Ratcliffe won't own, the, own, club, man. Won't own yeah. the club in its entirety. You've got to understand, yeah, the pride of the man as well. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, th bruv, these guys are royalty, bro. They're not sharing the club with this these peasant glazers, bro. Like, they're not doing yeah. it. Like, you got yeah. to understand, this is brazy. Like, like this is brazy. Like, he's not. Why would he do that? Do you know what I mean? Why no. would you share something that you can own outright, bro? And you know that you can afford exactly. it. Like, that doesn't make no sense. Like the analogy I gave um, of the car, bro. If I know the car is worth 25 grand, you're selling it for 30 grand. And I say, cool, I'll give you 35. I want the car, bro. Man's not going to share yeah. the whip with you when I can afford to buy it outright, bro. Man, <laughs> I sharing a car, bro? I don't know he you. Said, Yo, let me borrow it on the weekend. <laughs> I like that. Man, we'll just rent it off you on the store. Bro, I don't know you, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to share the car with you. When I can afford to buy it outright, I can buy a brand new one right now. I can go somewhere else and buy a brand new one. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. That doesn't make no sense. Like having There's ownership, not a single club key, in, this con in this whole planet that he can't go and buy. He can go buy yeah. a PSG from his bridge he could go buy buy Munich. He can buy all of these things. He can buy every club. So why am I gonna share with you? Yeah. <laughs> you know it is, and like I said, bro, it's 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 one of them where obviously Jim Ratcliffe ha has got the facilities and he's obviously he's bluffing to everyone, isn't it? But he'll get found out, man. Yeah. Like them them kind of brothers, they get found out, man. You know what I'm saying to you. And when when you look at the the, the amount of investment that's needed, like to borrow money and then to kind of be in debt, like. A, he ain't gonna like he said one of his plans was with the debt, yeah. I'm gonna get another debt to kind of cover that debt. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He said that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the debt on the club. Instead, I'm gonna put the debt on my assets so the club's debt free. But it's not because yeah. you're gonna use all the profit from there to pay the debt off. So it's it works the same way. These men think I'm stupid. They say they think, they think, yeah. think, they think we're all stupid, you know, like that. <laughs> So what this guy's trying to tell me, yeah. Yeah, this is what he's gonna tell us that he's gonna do. Yeah, he's saying that I'm gonna buy the club, but instead of putting the club up as collateral or whatever, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that on my own business. But yeah. when the club makes a profit, are you telling me that you're not gonna take money from that profit to pay off the debt that you've already financed? Of course he is. What's he gonna do? What use the club's profit? Yeah. To just put it back into the club and he's not going to pay the, the Glazers dividends and he's not going to refinance and put the money over. He's not going to keep the money in the club. It's still coming out the club. It's no yep. different to what the Glazers are doing. It's no yep. different, bro. No different. It's, it's just another problem. name. It's just another name. Yeah, another the name, fans bro. are going to be like. But if the fans are that stupid, if the fans are stupid and, and they believe this bullshit, then we deserve what we get in it. Like, that's just the bottom line, isn't it? Like, I'd be serious. The fans play into it and say, oh, we're in support of Jim Radcliffe while the Glazers are still there. Then you lot are Muppets, isn't it? Like, let's be honest. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Cause... And like man said, this is 20 years of fighting for seventh and sixth and debt year versus decades of trophies and success, bro. That's exactly what it is. Bro, it's mad, you know. Big up stuff. Like, bro, man. everything can be so different, you know.